Welcome back everybody, it's Hike the Gamer Channel, my name is Hike and if you're new here, I'm doing my second episode of my setup video. Uh, yesterday I covered my monitors, I covered my uh, converter, I covered my soundboard. Uh, today we're going to cover our media capture card where I used to capture, it's a really good device. And then we're cover, going to cover my awesome, awesome PC right here. Okay, I'll cover the case first. It's a pretty simple case guys, I didn't want to go too elaborate, I just want something simple. I was trying to save money, I got a nice Blu-ray uh write it right here just in case I, if i need to back up my videos uh it's got some really nice features it's got an sd card reader and multiple other card readers it's got usb 3 up front which is rare and i like usb 3 because it's faster it's got usb 2 right here uh, uh of course in and outputs right here i like this feature on top um if my computer is overheating and i'm actually rendering it out of systems i can just open this up and right there you can see the fans inside or even better, I can just completely take it off if I am actually want to cool my computer down even more. And the fans are just blowing the air out from the top, which I like this feature. I think it cools my computer down even further. And listen how quiet it is. I'm actually rendering right now. Here, I'll show you. I'm run rendering right now, and I'll be quiet so you can hear how quiet, quiet it is. And this is with all the doors and uh, everything open, all the fans running at maximum. So I have a nice little setup. I didn't want to do a water cooling system, but I like it. Uh, this is my cooling unit for my uh, CPU. It's massive. It's like two giant radiators with two giant fans on it. It cools down my CPU. My C CPU is 6 core 3.4, but this computer is made to be overclocked. So I can overclock it to 4.3 safely. I can actually take it to 5 gigahertz as well which i don't want to but at 3.4 with six cores that's uh, about 20 gigahertz of uh processing power which is really really important when you're trying to uh load up videos quickly because rendering your videos can take a long time now you don't need anything this crazy if you're doing your youtube channel uh, any household computer can do but you do need something reliable that doesn't break right here you can see my uh, ram right here it's the blue stuff right there and i have more over here so i have a um, four on each side and each one is four gigabytes so four times four you can do the math it's a lot of ram and it's 32 gigabytes of ram and it gives me the pro uh, processing power i have uh this is uh, i forgot yeah i think it's um a rampage extreme motherboard you can see all the buttons and everything it has it's made for overclocking so if uh, in 10 years let's say let's say my computer lasts 10 years in 10 years my computer isn't powerful enough i can overclock it and this board and motherboard uh, cpu have been made so my computer can be overclocked. I have the RAM I can update. Uh, right here I have my uh, video card. Um, it's a XFX R7900 series. It's a three gigahertz uh, video card. It's uh, wonderful, it's an AMD. I love it, it provides me all the power I need and it just it's amazing. So I have one fan here, two fan here, three fans here, four, five fan, five, six fan right here. <laughs> I have, um, Two more fans over here, and I like this filtering system. As you can see, it's catching all the dust, so it doesn't go inside. Uh, seven, eight fans, so I'm rocking a bunch of fans, uh, and it's quiet. It's quiet. I love how quiet it is. I don't have to do water cooling, so it's saving me a lot of time. Uh, this is my capture card. A lot of people asking me, Hike, what do you capture with? And this is my capture card. It's wonderful. It's Aver Media capture card, and the cool thing I like about it, it's got this button when you uh, press it it turns on and it lights up when you're recording so it's really easy one touch recording uh it's wonderful i love it so that's really great hi Goopy. are you feeling better hey guys i want to thank you all for the concern my dog is doing better and he's always hanging out next to me his stomach is still a little messed up he went he won't stop farting like crazy but thanks for the concern he's doing much better and he's actually eating right now you can see he's feeling better anyway let's get back to the computer so right here you can see I have a uh, uh, one terabyte hard drives. I have two of them. Uh, these are for capturing the videos uh, as I play. Uh, they're really good storage devices. They're running 7200 RPM. And I tried to use them as my primary C drive. But what happened is my processor was so fast, my hard drives could not keep up with it. So what was happening is they were acting, my computer was acting slow. So I had to buy a solid state uh, hard drive. Here's my solid state hard drive. It's like a big flash drive, guys. It's a 500 uh, gigabyte solid state, uh, uh, solid state hard drive. And it's a great thing because what it does, it actually perform, outperforms any 
a regular hard drive out there it can read and write like in 500 megabytes a second and i install all my software on this and all my data goes on my regular um uh, hard drives right here back here so when i need to uh record a lot of information it goes on this two big uh, boys right here and when i'm installing programs i put on my solid state so it, my computer acts faster so back here my computer had this has this get a great feature where i can turn off the led lights just in case i need more light and i can't i don't have to pull out my computer out of behind the wall so i can use it uh so i i can tell you tons more about my motherboard it's got some awesome features right here but let's go back to the capture card which you guys care for so this is my capture card right here it has a uh, uh, audio in and out right there and has a hdmi in and out right here and then what i do right here is uh this one is going from my switcher which can record my computer screen or my playstation and this one's going back out to my uh, monitor so this is what i use to record i have a ten dollar uh, hdmi switcher right here what it does is uh, input one is my playstation right here input two is my uh, monitor output so I can actually record my monitor without using any other software so I'm actually using Avery media to record anything on my monitor anything on my desktop so next episode when I'm showing you how to do the graphics I'm showing you how to edit I'm gonna be using uh, input 2 which is my PC which is my HDMI monitor out all right guys uh this is right here our media button i really like it a lot it's uh you can buy this capture card for about 100 to 150 dollars online and i recommend it it has 130 uh it has 180p at uh, 30 frames a second or you can do 720p at 60 frames a second i recommend you do 180p at 30 frames a second and it's really cool and it's easy to record so when i'm playing all i have to do is press it if i want to turn on the software i press the button and you can see the software starts up we have some good sound effects with it and then you can go uh, capture and do your stuff and then you can go capture and it'll open up a window this is my playstation right here my playstation isn't on but you can see how nice it is it works wonderfully well and i definitely recommend you guys go with the avery media it's actually cheaper than H H hp pvrs and stuff like that but you do need a reliable computer to use it the other thing I recommend you guys get is a nice, powerful, dependable uh, router. Mine is a Netgear router. I really like it. It's a gaming router, so it has no lag. It, it's actually made to make sure you get the signal as fast as you can. Uh, and milliseconds count, guys. Milliseconds count. If my router was lagging a few milliseconds, if my monitor was lagging another 20 milliseconds, and then my capture card was lagging another 10 milliseconds, uh, all those combined is going to be like, I don't know, 20, 30 milliseconds, and that's actually one bullet. So you can see how milliseconds add up. And that's why lag is important. So your router can actually have lag. That means you will see uh, the enemy slower. Your monitors, your TVs can have lag, which will, will mean, again, you'll see the... Uh, the player slower so having the right equipment makes you a better player if you can afford it i recommend you go with a nice gaming router they cost anywhere between 50 to 100 dollars but you know what it's not the big deal it's not going to make you an amazing player you're probably not going to even notice a difference the only time it matters is where your one off a swarm and that extra bullet gave you the kill you needed when it's on <laughs> when the, at that point everything matters so um, that's the only time you're probably going to notice the difference so in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to show you what uh, software to use, where to get it, uh, what I use for my graphic design, what I use for editing. I'm going to give you some tips about editing. So please tune in tomorrow. Uh, have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you then. Bye, everybody.